flux many nail one of a kind nail application I was gonna say press on nails but it's a kind you need the glue security tab included from Rite Aid I had done these in a video pa past but there were so many extra they give you 30 nails and 12 fancy ones sour apple bubblegum kind of nice so I'll tell you when we put on our fake fingernails I'll share some story time you about my history of me and my fingernails and some acrylics and uh, other things. They're like you know, one inch. The longest is one inch. Um, um, I'll just start off. Look how nice my nails are on my left hand. Um, I have a thumb story I can tell you. And look how bad they are on my right hand. That's terrible. Um, um, so, we have from my dad's side of the family simply because I remember my uncle on my dad's side noticing my nails couldn't believe that I bit my nails just like he did oh, yeah. 
early. My dad didn't bite his nails, but no more on my mom's side. And uh, that was somewhat interesting. I think my response was something that I think that's what tomboys do. That was the same uncle that taught me how to eat sunflower seeds and pack them in your mouth. So, you could do it either one of two ways. Put the sunflower seeds in your mouth one by one and pack the shells in your mouth. Or, have one side of your mouth with shell with some flower seeds and and then put the shells in the other side it was like a whole thing uh, but I was pretty good at it terrible so anyways uh, I used to work uh, nights at the post office and I used to drive from uh, Santa Barbara to Simi Valley a rough couple years of that and at night when I'd go home I'd do all these things to help me stay awake I'd keep my car window rolled down I had tons of bubble gum I would chew tons of bazooka bubble gum and I'd bite my nails bite my nails rip my nails off spit my nails out the window A tomboy to the max. Unbelievable. And oh. and like two times in my life where I specifically went out and got acrylic fingernails was um, 1976 or 1977. My mom had joined a gym. It was the first gym I ever joined, Venus de Milo. And anybody could join. It wasn't like a weight loss facility, but people joined there to be on a good diet. I have good, um, good, have a good weight, work out a little. I felt really good, and I think I lost like 10 or 12 pounds. But it made a big difference in everything, the way I looked, my clothes size, everything. I felt so good about myself. I remember getting acrylic nails and taking a picture. The picture is somewhere. And uh, that was very short-lived. Because uh, there were no fingernails to bite. And believe it or not, I started biting. Uh, the sides of the acrylics to try to just get the acrylics off from the side angle. So um, that was like in 76 or 77. Then I never was like a, a manicure uh, manicure pedicure person. Like never until I moved out on my own. I was 19, I moved to Santa Barbara. And I don't know how I got started with manicures and pedicures on my own. But the manicurist was so frustrated with me because I would never get like my toes painted a color. It would just be, uh, clear color and my fingernails were always like a pearl uh, white like a pearl kind of color or pearl pink something like that and uh, and I don't know why because I think my mom she would always do her own manicure she was doing her nails daily like with soaking them and filing them she had very nice fingernails and she even did her own, like, pedicures and painted her toenails. For me, that it just wasn't a thing. I, and then, 
That's the last time I was 19. So then I got married at 21, or I had just turned 22. And I wanted nice nails for my wedding. Bigger than beans, I end up at the at the acrylic fingernail table. And my fingernails. And even like a day or two before the wedding, I had to go back. She said, what, hap what happened? The whole fingernail was off. I didn't tell her. I bit it off from the side. I said, yeah, you kind of chipped and broke, and then I just took it off myself. And so I'm like, hey. She said, well, this is going to take a little longer than I thought. I thought you just needed a touch-up, which I guess means you just add a little bit of fix-up to the top of the acrylic now. I don't know. Um, so then, by the fourth or fifth time, when I would go in there for a touch-up, and she could see it wasn't a touch-up. It was like needed a whole new acrylic fingernail. And then she got frustrated and kind of got huffy with me. And then that was the end of that. Because I realized I just couldn't handle the acrylic. There was no, no fingernail I could bite. So then somehow along the way, uh, I had kids. Um, just wanted to have nice fingernails so I would go once a week for a manicure you know with no loud fingernail polish I just wanted a manicure and I had some kind of problem with my thumb can you see like how it kind of gets indented in the middle if I'm not careful I have a thumb now on my left hand that just it'll just split like start splitting in the middle of the thumb now and um, That hasn't happened in I don't even know how many years. But I think just as of late, since I had anemia, um, like when you're low on the, your vitamins and minerals, your hair and nails suffer. And that's exactly what happened to me. I don't think I need more glue on here. Um, so, um, I go to this manicurist and really enjoy my once a week appointment. It was just convenient because I was, I would do it on my way to work and it was easy to have my fingernails dry, up dry as I was driving off to work. But I never, you know, you'd have fake fingernails as a kid or, you know, the stick on fingernails or any of that. It was not even fun for me as a kid. And then as an adult, when I went for manicures, it wasn't like a beauty thing to go for a manicure. It was just because I had a hard time keeping my hands neat. I was always having cuticle issues or you know, and I wanted to quit by my nails and uh, hey oh no okay uh need more glue um so somewhere along the line the fingernail biting stopped and Even if you look at like my first videos from 2015, my nails were really nice. So, somewhere before 2015, I, I can't even place where or when. I just like quit biting my nails overnight and that was that. But again, I never, 
most glamorous I've ever been with bright colors as far as fingernails or lipstick. Definitely it's been my YouTube channel. Never do I wear colorful lipstick in public. And uh, occasionally I wear colorful you know, nail polish, but that was not like my go-to or like my mindset, like to be uh, sexy or anything. It was just what, what did I feel good? What made me feel good in my skin? Mm, fell off again. And the big deal, I could never wear like bold lipstick. I would see all these women and their lipstick wasn't perfect, like when you put it on perfect in your mirror at home and then it smears or it's on your teeth. I was a young kid that used to terrify me. I'd see my aunt, they'd have red lipstick on their teeth my whole life. That was my fear. How do women wear bold lipstick out and they don't know what they look like? And the other thing I thought was terrible, how women would sit at at their seat in public and take out their little compact and put on lipstick and powder their face there in public. For the life of me, as a young person, I thought it was terrible. I, I still think it's terrible today. My, um, I'm appreciative that I have YouTube because I have a chance just to have fun with myself with um, colorful lipstick, lip gloss, and fake fingernails. And I think I have one fingernail painting my fingernails. One from 2015 or 2016, and it's the it's the pearl. polish. And the other thing I think was a reason I didn't do nail polish so much is my hands are so huge. Um, I, I guess it's just part of being a tomboy and being the A-string on all the sports and all, all that. So in that respect uh, it was kind of nice to have large hands. But in, like in the whole scheme of things in the real world I would always I think maybe I was a little uh, nervous about nice fingernails and so I'm not drawing attention to my hands Not as bad as the Seinfeld show. Remember that Seinfeld show with the man hands? Not that bad. But I do recall that show coming out and being a little bit stressed, thinking, oh my goodness, that could be me. But it wasn't, oh no. Now what? I don't have the strength. Let's see. And look. Now the reason for this bad hand has been again my anemia problem has been an issue. Number one. But number two uh, I haven't been sleeping that well at night and I've been a little bit stressed about it and I think it's a nighttime nervous condition I have. I'm up sitting in my, since I can't sleep, I'm up sitting in my chair thinking, and uh, I think that's what's going on, but terrible. Other glue. Alright, 
I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit. Life is mysterious yet interesting because I really am convinced my uh, fingernail biting came from my dad's side of the family. You know, these few little things you see that are the same as family member and uncle or somebody. And then when you see your kids do things, and they don't know why them they do them, but then you look at them and say, oh my goodness, I used to do that. And so it's helped me be not so judgmental to people. Whereas before, you know, my thought was, well, just don't do it. Why are you doing that? Now I realize there's like a bigger force behind so much of our life that we don't even know about. And yes, we're all created equal, but even between the two um, daughters that I have, you know, same household, same family, same mom, same dad, year and a half apart, than beans if one is more like me in some ways the other one is more like my husband in some ways so how did that happen let me show you these are the things I think about offline and I can't sleep at night goodness now I have glue everywhere and my fingers are look my fingers are sticking to my skin everything's glued together except what I need to have glued together fingernail look so I think I'm subliminally getting ready for Halloween. So this this specifically reminds me do not get the glue on. Fingernails get the the press on. Those are way way more fun. And uh see. I think it was this one. Yeah. Um, and you know what's odd? I remember picking the exact same color when I had my uh, acrylic nails. I didn't even pick like a, a fun color. I remember both times it was the exact same color. It was like a mauve, not a not a light mauve, like a dark brownish, pinkish, mauveish color. And don't ask me why. I don't know why. Except it was a, again a subliminal message to not draw too much attention to my hands, thinking that if I had a cute pink or a red. I would get too much tension. Okay. I have been. Um, Trisha Paytas has on her uh, channel a lot. Uses uh, a bunch of assorted fingernails. They're really kind of pretty. She, she has a Hello Kitty video with Hello Kitty uh, press on nails. Uh, so I think I want to look for some real fun uh, fingernails for uh, press on. 
have some fingernails for when I do this. Okay. Probably closer to Halloween. Ugh. But bless her heart, she has a wonderful assistant, Moses, who does, puts her nails on for her. But honestly, even after the nails are on, it's not easy. I'm afraid to click anything. So, I um, really don't know anybody who uh, does the acrylic fake fingernails anymore, like on a bi-weekly or monthly basis, except the one person who we have completely disowned in our life a few years back. Um, but. She was acrylic fake fingernail to the max and always had money issues and couldn't understand that she had money issues and so many people said you have to cut out extras in your life but I don't know she wouldn't get rid of her fake fingernails and that was just the beginning of of a reason why she's kind of been disowned by a family, but um, they were pricey back then. I can't imagine what they are now. Are, are people still doing fake acrylic nails? Or is everybody just doing the press on, glue on? All right, let's let's see here. Um. Uh, Sally Hansen, this I remember. I have been using the Sally Hansen clear coat, I think since the 70s, since I discovered it in Kmart. Um, when I would want to try to get my nails nice, I would always use the Sally Hansen. It was like a hard coat or hard clear coat. Um, kind of something I used for decades. I even used it in hopes that I would quit biting my fingernails because that was like a tip for people who didn't want to bite their fingernails anymore. Keep fingernail polish on it. Um, so, Sally Hansen. And then, uh, I think Q-Tex used to have the fingernail polish where I would buy the pearl uh, white and the pearl pink. I think it was a plain old Q-Tex brand. I should look for that. That'd be fun. Um, what else? Um, Oh, that's the other thing I was going to mention. I remember how I told you I wasn't into like manicures and pedicures and all that. When my girls were in grammar school, and I know they didn't learn this from me, they were so into painted toenails, more so than painted fingernails. And I was so upset because I was not the mom who introduced my girls to any kind of like makeup at a young age and I was not the uh, glamour makeup queen mom who 
where they'd get like an idea like oh I need to put makeup on, I need to put makeup on and so I always kind of wondered were they just predisposed so we had the one crazy relative we just owned who was had to have uh, fake fingernails and then my mom and all her side of the family they were kind of like glamour queens they were all very beautiful my mom had five sisters and two brothers or three brothers four girls and three boys and uh, um, I was very uh, just like disenchanted at the fact that my girls wanted to wear sandals so they could show off their toenails and like in grammar school um, and I started kind of like beating myself up thinking you know we we got all that fun makeup stuff for kids when they were kids never did I think would blow up to this and uh, then even in high school the one daughter really took off with makeup more so than the other daughter. And I finally said, you know, um, I don't know why you're doing all this makeup, you know. Boy, boys know about girls and makeup. And if they see a girl with a ton of makeup, the only thing they're thinking is, oh my goodness, what does she have to have all that makeup for? What does she look like without her makeup? And I remember mentioning it to her. I might have finished off my little uh, uh, tantrum by saying, you think your father would have married me? <laughs> Something to that effect. If I'd worn all that makeup, then what would I have looked like with no makeup? Something like that. But honestly, that is true. I think he, he was 40, so he had a pretty good idea about women at age 40. And uh, I, I do believe that was a part of it. Not just the fact that I didn't wear a ton of makeup, but the fact that I felt good in my skin without, without a ton of makeup. And, um, all I needed was was mascara and lip gloss and that was what was good. Um, but even now, it's just kind of funny. He kind of was, I had all my stuff for my fake fingernail video. He didn't really say anything, but he kind of had that look like, what in the world? But he knew it was for a video. But, uh, and then I have my Halloween wig. You know, that red and black hair. Uh, a word to the wise uh, Halloween hair hunter. You know how you can buy costume Halloween wigs? Honestly... I would just go to Amazon. I haven't done this for Halloween. I would just go to Amazon and try to find a Halloween wig. That's a real wig. Because when you buy a fake Halloween wig, 20 bucks, and I loved it. That black and red, I love that wig for Halloween. But it's so cheap. The fibers are super cheap. The head piece doesn't really fit on your head but you can find like a wig for 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon with better fiber and better fitting so uh, there's that uh, twice I've bought that black and red red wig I love it so much. 
and I'll probably end up getting it a third time. I love it so much simply because I can't find that style and that color anywhere. So that'll be interesting. The last couple of years it was 20 bucks. I wonder what it'll be priced this year. Oh, maybe it'll be priced cheap. A uh, reminder, Target, Walmart, and Amazon are so overstocked with stuff. Because of the economy, people haven't been buying items. You can find stuff super cheap. Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Because you're so overstocked and need to get rid of stuff before... Uh, Uh-oh. Before holidays. I do need a assistant to put thick fingernails on. That's oh, really not easy. Uh, especially the glue on the uh, press on. I recall the press on. I probably should have done this before, huh? Cuticle pushed all that back. So these are an inch. Let's see if I could find one that's just a half an inch. I could probably do stuff with a half an inch. I don't think I can do stuff with, really, a whole inch. And so, for what it's worth, this nail glue, I think I bought it separately. Day Logic. It really is like super glue. This stuff, uh, I'm assuming, yeah, Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue, the stuff that comes with the nail package. Uh, best I can recall, it was good when I first opened it, but perhaps after you open it, it doesn't work as well for the second set of nails. my anemia issue. I've completed two uh, uh, iron infusion treatments. That was all I needed. And uh, so I go back sometime in October to uh, check my numbers. No, I think I'll be good. I don't know. So there's that. Uh, 